The Maiden Aerospace and Aviation Exhibition for Africa will bring together major investors for both general and commercial aviation in Africa to discover latest developments and innovations. The expo will also provide an opportunity for manufacturers and service providers in the sector to explore and meet potential customers. This will also highlight the importance of infrastructure within aviation to discover firsthand the range of new technologies and solutions that the industry has to offer. The first ever Africa Air Show has been launched today in Accra Kutuka International Airport. As you can see behind me, there are so many aircrafts paraded here for exhibition. We will be talking to Fabian, a crew member of the aircraft. My name is Fabian. Yep. I'm with Diamond for the, actually for a year about now. I've been working in a flight school before as a flight instructor and now being a ferry pilot and working in the flight operations back in Austria. So how long have you been in the system, Morgana, here? Well, I arrived yesterday evening. I arrived yesterday evening with the airline. I'm going to bring one of these aircrafts back to Austria on Friday. So you're going to fly back? Back to Austria, back to Wiener Neustadt, which is the, the company's base, basically. And it's going to take us about two and a half days to go back to Austria. The name of the flight, why is it that small? And then it tell us the speed limit of it. The aircraft that you see here is a special mission aircraft, so so-called DA-62 MPP, multi-purpose platform. So what has been used for mainly, of course, for governmental use or military. And there's a civil version as well, which is for flight schools then. Speed-wise, uh, this certain aircraft has a speed limit of about 175, two knots, and a maximum ceiling altitude of 20,000 feet. Wow. So it's about six and a half kilometers, which is the, the maximum altitude that you can for flights. It's various instruments. So the left-hand screen gives the, all the most important instruments to the pilot. In the middle, you have the autopilot and backup instruments, and the right-hand screen is just a navigation instrument. So talking about the instruments here, is that the same thing that we have on the other side too? Yes, so it's a backup, it's redundancy, so in case, for example, one screen fails, the system will automatically switch to the other. If you are a pilot, immediately you sit in such an aircraft, what is the first thing to do? Well, the first thing, of course, you're starting with your checklist. As a pilot, you always work with a checklist, and then according to checklist, you're doing the startup procedure. You have the checklist here? Oh, I think it's not inside at the moment. Okay. So after the checklist, what is next? Well, you start the aircraft with the checklist. So the first thing I would do, you have an electric master here. Okay. This will power up the system. So booting the computer system. After the system is booted up, you're checking the systems, of course, check fuel, check electrics on board. And then after that, we would also do the engine start. Very easy here. It's like in a car, basically. You have a master switch, hit the start button, and the engine will be starting. So if the engine starts, how many minutes must it take before you start press another thing? Well, once you start an engine, the aircraft is ready for takeoff within two or three minutes. Okay. Then if you want it to move up, mm -hmm. what do you do? Full power. You have the power levers here in the middle. So you just put them full forward, 100% engine power. And when you reach a certain speed, you just pull this back to stick, which puts the aircraft nose up. Okay. So this sticks... Uh, yes. What dies the aircraft in the air. Exactly. So this sticks is the, is the controls of the aircraft basically, left, right, up and down. Wow. Thank you very much for talking to FNN. That is it. My name is Eric Kwamijese reporting for FNN News. The African Air Show is the first aerospace and aviation exhibition and conference of West Africa and is being organized by Dubai-based 4M event, organizers of the successful Abu Dhabi Air Expo for the past three years.